welcome to my secret lab. to miss your old house, Granny. I've got so many fond memories here. My, yes. Like the time you launched a rocket from the attic. Right. I learned rockets launch better through open windows. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? My latest time-saving invention, I call it the box bot. Here, but be careful with the trigger. You are a disgrace to robots! Deactivate yourself immediately! <laughs> yeah, you better run! Have no fear, Granny. Von Bolt shall retape your box. Thanks, Von Bolt, but we've got it covered. Still covered! That's a beautiful necklace, Granny! Where'd you get it? Oh, <laughs> from a very nice young man last week! He bought my house with it, saying it's a very valuable necklace made of diamonds, rubies, and precious sapphires. Granny, you didn't... He promised me it's worth five times the price of my house! Isn't that wonderful? Oh, no! I smell a scab. It might be the hydrogen sulfide I was working with. Stinky stuff. Kent's right. I think Nikki's granny has been tricked. Goodness, no! He was such a kind fellow. Granny, if the necklace is fake, you won't have any money to buy a new house. We've got to find out fast before the sale of the house goes through. Can we borrow your necklace, Granny? Of course, dear. But be careful of it. It's worth one million dollars. There's got to be some way we can tell if Granny's necklace is real or fake. To prove something, you must look at its properties and do a lot of testing, just like I did with the light bulb filaments. Right. So who here knows a bunch about gemstones? Raise your hand. Hey, Sheila's into fashion. Maybe she can help us. Bonjour, mes amis. How do you like my glorious glow-in-the-dark emerald earring? Ah! Uh. They are positively marvelous. Can you send me a pair? They will go on the bar with my glow in the dark underwear. Ah, Von Bolt, we didn't need to see that. Sheila, we've got to find out if this gemstone necklace is real or fake before my granny loses her home. Ooh la la, I love gemstones. They are my favorite minerals because they are so beautiful. Gemstones are minerals? So like, when my mom says, be sure to get enough minerals in my diet, what she means is... <laughs> I think I need more milk, Bob. Kent, not all minerals are edible. Uh, we have a problem. Fake gemstones are minerals too, aren't they? Yes, but none are as beautiful as gems. And besides being used for jewelry, gems are used in industry, like diamond cover drills that can cut through anything. Some minerals are plentiful and cheap, like salt crystals. This oatmeal needs more salt, Bob. <laughs> Better, thanks. There are more than 3,000 different minerals in the world. Indeed, and I tested many of them when trying to get my light bulb filament to glow. It is late in Paris. Bon nuit, my friend. Mr. Edison, how can we test this necklace to see if it's a fake? You'll find the information you require in virtual reality. Von Bolt. Yeah. I am on it like a hasty hamster. Here, Edison. Where are we now? Looks like a mine. You know, where they dig in the rock in search of minerals. Because rocks are a mixture of different minerals. You're dressed pretty cool for a miner. Nope, I'm not a miner. I'm an agent. I represent the only rock band in the world. Hey, dude, there are thousands of rock bands. <laughs> yeah, but only one is made of rock. 
Here they are, rock fans, Ruby and the Minerals. On lead guitar, it's Ruby. Playing the bass, Amethyst. And tickling the keyboard is Pyrite. Hop in the tour bus, kids, and let's go for a magical mineral tour. That's molten rock, or magma, where rock stars are born. And there are three types of rocks. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. When molten rock cools, it hardens into igneous rock. But the way it cools makes a big difference. When molten rock cools slowly, deep under the Earth's surface, it forms large crystals, like this piece of granite. When molten rock reaches the surface, it's called lava. Lava cools more quickly and forms rock with small crystals, like this obsidian, a natural black glass. Uh-oh. Don't drum rolls usually mean something big is about to happen? Oh, it's bigger than big. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a volcanic eruption! Hang on to your seats, rock fans. The second act is about to begin. The second type of rock is called sedimentary. Sediment stuff that settles to the bottom of a liquid, right? Exactamente! And sedimentary rocks, like sandstone, are made of minerals like compacted sand and quartz. Presenting the Great Pyramids of Giza, made of another sedimentary rock star, limestone, formed from the skeletons of marine microorganisms and coral. But hold on, there's one more act to our rock show! Awesome! Take it away, Amethyst! The third type of rock is called metamorphic. Those are rocks that have changed form. You're right on key with that note. Metamorphic rocks are created when high temperatures and pressure changes the rocks into new minerals. Of course, these changes all take millions of years. So, do you want the band for a dance, birthday party, or bar mitzvah? Sorry, we're not here to hire your rock band. We want to know how to tell if my granny's necklace is a fake before she loses her house. In that case, these rocks have got to get rolling. Wow, with over 3,000 different minerals, how are we ever going to tell what's real and what's fake? By the characteristics, of course. Mister, do you know how to tell which minerals are which? But of course. I am Frederick Mose, mineralogist extraordinaire. All minerals have certain characteristics that help identify them. Color, luster, the way a mineral reflects light, and the streak made by rubbing a mineral across a rough surface. And cleavage, the tendency of some minerals to break in a certain way. But my favorite test is hardness, which is measured by scratching a mineral, such as my fingernail scratches this talc, the softest mineral there is, and diamond, which is the hardest, and can only be scratched by another diamond. Awesome information, Mr. Mose. But do we really have to test all of those things to figure out if these gemstones are real or fake? No, you don't need to make all the tests. Just test the hardness. I developed a simple standard scale of hardness in 1822, and it is still in use today. All you need is nine minerals. Thanks so much, Mr. Mose. We might just have time to save Granny's home. <gasps> the test kit! It was virtual, so it wasn't real. But Mr. Moe said it was simple. Uh, I mean, simple. So let's make our own test kit. I used many minerals in my experiments. You'll find them all in my mineral drawer. Which ones do we need, Angie? Gypsum, talc, calcite, fluorite, apatite, orthoclast, quartz, topaz, and corundum. Plus a magnifying glass and nail and ceramic tile streak plate. The Mohs scale goes from 1 to 10, 10 being the hardest, which is diamond. 
Let's test the ruby. Ruby is number nine on the hardness scale. This quartz is seven on the scale, and the softer substance can't scratch a harder one. So if that quartz scratches Granny's ruby, then... It's a fake. Ah, it's probably glass, which has a hardness of five and a half. We've got to notify the police, and fast! You're under arrest in the name of the law. And in the name of science. The necklace was a fake, but the police caught the crook and we got your deed back. Your house is safe, Granny. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. You and your friends are just so smart. <laughs> I'm especially thankful to JD for inventing his brilliant boyfriend catching doohickey. What boyfriend catching doohickey? <laughs> Granny? I know. Isn't he cute? A real gem. For more fun videos, subscribe to Cartoon Channel.